Hello children, welcome to Our World Through English. So today we are going to continue the story, the treasure within. Yes, so we have a wealth in our, our, ourselves. So but what we discussed in the previous class, we have to identify it. We have to understand it. So nobody will give you the idea. So just we have to think of ourselves. So when you take Afi is the contractor, when he had very very poor in subject, when everybody was worrying about him, but what he had said very clearly, he said that my teacher said one word that he, I will become an architect in the coming days. So I don't know why she said, but it happened that because they observe us a lot. Teachers will observe us a lot. So here in this education career, we are discussing about Hafiz contractor and how his school life went on. And later, what are the dramatical changes was happened in the life of Hafiz contractor? We are discussing for many days. So today we are going to continue the same part. And moreover, and I'm saying that the treasure is within us. Let me give a story before starting today's class regarding the topic. So one day, <coughs> one farmer has a land. So there, uh, one day his friend came to meet him. His friend came to meet him. And he said that, my dear friend, my dear friend, we have just a land. With this we can survive. But if we have a small piece of diamond small piece of buy diamonds you can buy a village if you have little bigger you can buy you can build a town if you have little bigger you can build a city if you have little bigger big big diamond then you can build a country so he said about diamonds then immediately his friend thought of it yes diamonds are very precious so immediately he thought i have to search for diamonds i have to search for diamonds so immediately what happened he sold the land he called somebody and he said that i want to sell my land and he sold everything and he went in searching of diamonds so he went to some other country some other country so he removed many countries total money has been finished total money has been finished there was no money in his hands money in his hands so later some other country he was not in the one place also he was moving all the places so money has been finished but he not found any single piece of small piece of diamond then he was worried and he don't know what to do in his life he sold his farm there was nothing to leave there so nothing everything was gone nobody is giving money so he thought of to end up his life so he went to the river and he jumped and he died so one day the man who bought the man who bought the land from the farm who was died previously he was going through the farm so when he was going through the farm he has seen uh, you know in the in the farmers they will make a small way to go for water so then he was going through that he had seen a stone which was sparkling because of the sunlight so it was sparkling then immediately he thought that just he took a very nice stone previously we used to if you go for any river areas there we can find that in places we can find different different stones so he found a stone it was very very beautiful let me keep this stone in my home so he kept a big stone in his house so the friend who said that to go for in search of diamonds he came to the farm to meet his friend but he was not there and he has seen the stone which was sparkling then he immediately called the farmer hey what is this he said i found the stone in the in this land then immediately he observed that clear and said that it is not a common stone it was diamond then immediately he went to see there the total place valley was full of diamonds full of diamonds the land was full of diamonds but what the man has done? He had not searched his land. He had not observed his land. He left his land and he went all the places. But where the diamonds are? In his own place. So children, we will observe with many people. We will compare with many people. But the treasure is inside our body. 
the treasure is inside your heart but you should identify it you should identify it without looking at yourself don't worry about others many people will worry about the other people's why because they will feel this and that, that and that but but first you should identify here see here the treasure within within inside it, it was there it was there but you have to identify you have to identify just take Hafiz the contractor how suddenly he has drawn the designs which a uh, uh, cousin's husband told immediately on the spot he has done because he had been identified it and immediately cousin's husband identified that and said you join in uh, which one architect college so we have to identify instead of identifying if you compare with others if you compare with others if you compare with us stop comparing stop comparing and start living maybe I written a study for you right never and never compare with anybody because you are not similar we are different we are unique the same thing we can observe that we have the man searched all the places but he not search his own land that is the value of diamonds that is a farm of diamonds finally he died so children what i'm requesting you is never and never compare with anyone ever compare with anyone never you should identify your talent what is my speciality because if nobody all if you have 30 friends not everybody won't become doctors some will become engineer some will become doctor some will become some different professions so why means we have to identify talents i have a lot of friends among them i become teacher some become my school friends some my college friends somebody all most of them in the teaching field some of them in the colleges so my friends whom we studied together in the school some are working as an engineers some are working as marketing executives some are working as a, I am working as a teacher somebody who is doing farming somebody is doing a, a agriculture engineers so many many fields they have been chosen so like that we have to identify what is our hidden talent I'm saying that nobody will you have to identify when teacher said something you should think that why teacher had told me that when you go on observing you will be settled you will be settled. The same thing here. Hafiz never and never compared. He was an idiot in the school. Even that, he was going in his own way. Whatever the idea, he is having interest. So later, he come to know that architecture is interest. Then he entered the field. He became number one. He became the number one. Because his heart. Some people will be worried about Some people will say that parents will force maybe many times uh, i suggest to the parents i said clear a straight question to the parents many times i said when they come for counseling i said very clearly i said that you don't force your child to study something because if you force them uninterestingly without interest they will join and they will study they won't get marks you will pressure them with the pressure they will go for ending suicides so never and never force you just observe the interest of your son or daughter then make them to go in the same field i suggested to many parents because your parents won't study i won't study you have to study for yourself so which which topics you are interested which profession you are interested which side you are interested you go with that you convince your parents you just talk to them and say them or take the help of the teacher make them teacher to help apparently i will help if you have same problem just come to me and i will definitely help because if here we are here to help you the same thing children here let me give you the question for you that is never and never compare with anyone because we have the treasure we have the treasure within ourselves within ourselves we have to identify that so let us continue the story today what we are going to discuss in today's class let us start how yes and he said that well the question yesterday we discussed that giftedness and disabilities giftedness 
and disabilities both will move hand by hand because gifted means talent disability means our mistakes i have uh, for example maybe you can observe that is on the board so uh, my disability is i can't write on properly i don't have good hand it to be very frank i can say that and the gifted in this i am not very proud i i will explain very very clearly the lessons so my giftedness and my disabilities will move together teaching and the other disability so it will go on so disabilities and giftedness will go on together and she asked the question yes of course and he responded yes very well you said because most of the friends my friends who got 90% 80% 98% they were doing ordinary jobs very very ordinary jobs but uh, office became the best india's a uh, number one one of the best architects see how 50% is man 50% who got 50% in his college he became now one of the best architect in this in india that is a way of understanding our hidden talents so let us continue today's class continuation i have i have come across the situation in so many different places where people tell me that the class toppers are doing very very ordinarily today yes of course it was true it was true because i already said yesterday those class toppers who are very very topped in the class were in my school in my school my classmates they were doing ordinary jobs they are earning a very less when compared to me even they are very well toppers even i was at, i also uh, one of one of them but i have chosen later because why i said already in the previous class they are studying only for the sake of marks only for the sake of marks they want only percentage in a certificate but zero here 98 here zero here here 100 Hundred, but brain zero. Because they were reading for the sake of marks. They won't understand anything. They won't keep anything in them. Simply they will read and they will close and they will. Read. If they lost, for example, uh, one of my friend, what is uh, his name? I forgotten his name. Ah, uh, Vanesh. And now he was. Uh, uh, we can call. He is uh, now in a uh, South Central Railway. He was working as an. Uh, junior engineer there so after his btech he got job and he was uh, working in a, a present in gudur in uh, andhra pradesh he was working in that uh, division so his nature is when he was in the school he will read if we for example the treasure within two it is there so if you forget one word in the middle he will go for the first again and if he forgot anything in the middle again he will go first so means they they are not read by understanding by just by heart in just the reading if they lost if they forgot in one name immediately again they will go first because they can't start start in the middle they don't know what is in the middle so they again they will go first so that is maybe many of us children you are having the same problem right sometimes when we are writing examination also we will forget some word in the middle again we will go for striking off again we will write again the answer when your teacher ask any question we will say if you stop in the middle again we will go for it for the time i used to ask uh, yeah, when i was in the school uh, my first students i used to ask in the middle 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 i will ask because if you say it from the middle also then you can understand the topic or else just i never i never forced my children to get marks i want you to understand the topics i want you to understand the topics then you can get automatically the marks will come because if you go for understanding the topic you will write very very uh, with your own words creativity innovative you will write then automatically the marks will come there is no if you have creation with you automatically the marks will come success will follow the hard work nothing no problem there. if you have hard work if you have the dedication if you have the creativity then everything will follow you if you have nothing nothing will follow you so here the question bila raja also said the same thing yeah i have come across to so many things that is all the class toppers 
were doing very very ordinary just of course because they don't know how to create new things just they will read they will write whatever it was there they will cut to copy cut to paste paste copy paste copy paste what is there they were divided simple but they want to use their brain so that is a mistake children so i don't want you to be like that because i want you to be a creative and creative so here <coughs> yeah in school in school i think uh, living our lives there made us street smarts i have learned more by doing what i did not on my own than what academics would have taught me so here he was saying yes very straight yes very absolutely correct and he said very clearly then academics then academics means then subjects i learned many things by doing let me give an example here for example i was writing on the board just listen i written learning on the board what is that learning then you meet you are looking hey yes i written wrong it's yes, i written wrong all you are laughing are hey, what happened what happened then immediately i had seen there or oh, really r you said sir spelling mistake r is missing there oh ho 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 then immediately i arise run i written learning okay finished and the second class next class same some other topic was teaching there also i got the word learning then i was writing the word learning l e a after writing immediately i got or a previous class i had done some mistake they said r so immediately i should i will keep i will keep in my mind because with learning by doing learning by doing so that is the work what afis contact has followed learning by doing so many things hafiz had learned by his own than academics what he is saying here children let us see here yes in my school i think everyone lives made a street smarts i have learned more by doing what i did on my own than what academics would have taught me so what is there that is not made me perfect man so i created my own i learned by doing so i done something so with that i know some new things for example when you are in the doing science and laboratories when you were in the when i was in the college chemistry lab we used to mix some two chemicals so for that we have to get some result some will give orange color flakes uh, flakes some will give stripes so they will give so when we are mixing some do to make chemicals we should write the another one what we got we should write them and instead of another two uh, those two chemicals we used to mix some other chemicals with that sometimes uh, the test tube has been burnt and uh, total lab become uh, total smog because when we mix chemicals uh, some total uh, smog will come out so immediately when we mix something that once once uh, me and my friend uh, his name is ajay kumar when we done both together like uh, one uh, test when we put two chemicals then immediately it become big smog with small test tube just uh, two drop two drops two two drops of chemicals made total room smog so you can observe how powerful chemical so with that we come to know something new then immediately we have, we have not been repeated that again so here hafiz also said the same thing here what he was saying then learning by doing so whatever we were doing we learned a new things we became a street smarts means whatever we are saying we are doing we are learning some new things for example on the board first time you came to school and you don't know what is board you have a piece of chalk there and simply you didn't like this oh then you will come to maybe it will be useful for writing so that is a learning by doing everything they learned a new new things they started creating new new things so by that they came to learn a new innovations they came to learn hafiz and his friends they became street smart so they they do all different things and they will learn different different new innovation that is not what i'm saying uh, what some day will say that for example 
uh, I said like this do all things differently means some people will eat at left hand some people will walk with the hand right that is not what I am saying here and regarding creativity I was saying that okay don't take this as another manner some people some idiots were there some idiots were there so they will do same like they will eat with the left hand saying that Sahar told to do all things differently in the recently we have the previously I had seen one person in TikTok different star he is sleeping in the washroom and he was uh, he was what you call he was uh, he was sleeping on the drainage water and why for different that type of i am not talking about that type of different things i am talking about innovative things okay create a new innovations create a creativity i want i am talking about creativity not the type of nuisance what we are seeing on tiktok that is not what i am talking about so here hafiz contractor became innovative Hafiz contractor became a creator. How? Because he learned everything by doing. By doing that, oh, they came to learn some new things. For example, they are designing fort. For example, they designed uh, a fort. They draw a fort mark. Like this. They had done a fort. When they had, when they had done a fort, they come to know oh, this will be like this next time another modification maybe this uh, tombs were not good so we have to change the tombs so next time they will change tombs so like that every time they were going to do an innovative things so they were changing the things whatever they were doing a learning by doing is important an important topic we should understand children yes all the toppers were ordinarily jobs why because they never try to do innovative things i know many times i can observe in the classrooms who are not studying well they are very very perfect in doing some different innovation during especially during the science fair and on the science day on feb 28th we will celebrate science day on behalf of on the day of cv raman so right we will celebrate science day and on the day on the day we can find many students i was very i will be very surprised because many students will do some innovation some will do uh, for example uh, air coolers some will do uh, some injections some uh, procliners and oh my god sometimes many many people will do many many new things and who are doing this i will be very surprised really? he has done or he is very poor in subjects but very perfect in making these all things yes many many things so who are not well at study some they have some creative ideas so they will create new innovations during science fair i was very very surprised to see you all really then the talent real talent will comes out real talent will comes out sometimes we cannot try singing competitions so at the time singers came and i was surprised already what a beautiful voice she is having what a beautiful voice he is having so i was surprised so then i come to know that the hidden talents hidden talents and recently we celebrated uh, we made a uh, artist competition a rangoli competitions and there i have seen my how great on in that 20 minutes how beautifully he were, you have drawn a beautiful pictures i have been surprised i have been surprised in 15 minutes uh, you have made designed different different kites i was amazed to see you all because we have a different different of talents but what is the mistake means we are not taking it out we are not taking it out i am saying i am saying that clearly all won't study well some will study well some will read well some will write well some will understand well some will create new things some will paint well some will dance well some will sing well so someone will do many many things so not all if all be same is i am way bored if all are same in the class is bored so we need all the talent should be inside so we have to know our hidden talents what is our area of interest where we are interested in so here Hafiz contract is saying that whatever we are doing we are learning by doing we are learning by doing everything we are learning by doing everything we are doing me and my friends become street smarts means I like a street uh, smart means small but simple things they were doing innovatively so that made uh, Hafiz contacted to be recognized and he thought that uh, learning by doing is a very important point today we learned and one more line I'm going to read today and I will complete today yeah uh, that is because the personality and skills were there 
you were able to find expression in a manner and you were comfortable with it with and you defied every rule so that nobody would stop you from doing what you need to do so immediately she's saying that personality and skills it is also important children personality skills so Bila Raja was saying that yeah maybe I will explain the same line tomorrow also because today it may be not be sufficient for us to understand this line I will try to give total explanation for this line so personality she was saying that you have personality and skills so you will get what is personality means maybe this personality right this is not the personality personality means the behavior personality means the character personality means the attitude whatever we have that is personality somebody will have the personality of proud that is their attitude yes so personality means our character so Bila Raja is saying that she was saying very clearly you have you have that is because you have personality and skills so what is personality means his even he was very very naughty boy he never lost his personality so uh, being jokes playing jokes or uh, doing pranks that may, that is not uh, losing the personality so when we lose personality means when we cheat somebody else when we talk uh, wrong things when we create rumors on somebody else when we say false when we uh, when we lie to somebody so that there we will lose our personality so here she was saying very clearly yes of course you have a personality you have a credit you have credibility means Hafiz means or oh, this is the nature of Hafiz so you have some personality and the skill of creative of a skill of designing so you have something in your life so that made you to do all these things whatever you have been achieved in your life Hafiz Bila Raja was saying these words and not all that she was saying the one more thing that is you were able to find expression in a manner you were comfortable with and you defied every rule so that nobody would stop you from doing what you needed to so you have if for example you have done some many things in your life Hafiz wow means if you want to do, do something you will do you won't for example some people will are there mommy will say daddy will say don't do means they will do because they if they wanted to do something they will do they won't bother about rules they won't bother about regulations they won't bother about father because they are like that that is a good things i'm not talking about all the bad things i'm saying here hafiz wanted to innovate a new thing he wanted to design something for example an example what was mentioned textbook in the classroom was the class was going on third standard what he wanted he was to, he has to listen to the class but what he was doing he was drawing the sketches designing the forts right yes or no then it is against the rule if you done like that in the classroom what a teacher will do he may a teacher will make a stand up get out from the class go out, don't attend to my class for one week or stand on the bench you may get punishment so yes or no yes so here we can take the same example what Bela was saying that yeah you have a personality and you have the skills so if you wanted to do anything Hafiz if you want to do anything what you def what you desire you won't bother about rules you won't bother about regulations because you have already decided to do this one you have already decided to do this one so that you can do anything in your life the same thing she was given example just in the classroom he has to listen to the classroom but when he was doing that one teacher has been identified that he was drawing some designs then she said mrs gupta right mrs gupta said that yeah you are very bad you're idiot you're stupid but your sketches were good see teacher also encouraged even he was not listening to the class so here Afis has decided to draw drawings there so he not bothered about teacher he not worried about rules and regulations if he wanted to do anything he has to do it that is good because he is showing his talent so same thing was happened and Bill Raja was saying that yes Afis you have a great personality and you have a skill if you decide something to do in your life you have been done this 
so that was a great credit to our Hafiz conductor so that is the end of today's class children and uh, same words where, where we discuss uh, tomorrow also we will discuss the same thing I hope you enjoy the class and meet you in the next class until then stay home stay safe meet you and take care bye bye